Welcome to SmartHelping.com Excel templates uh, and financial models. Today we're doing budget versus actual. Uh, this is something I come across every so often and oftentimes businesses have their own kind of way to track budget versus actual. It's usually clunky, sometimes it's clean, but what I've done is just started from scratch and built what I feel is the best way to do it if you want to track different um, accounts or line items of your business on a monthly basis and have it visually reported nicely. Um, so page one we just have here is our, our growth. We just have start year and growth for inputs because there's not much. I mean obviously businesses could have all kinds of different inputs that I can implement for you. <clears throat> I include three hours of work um, on the purchase of this template so that should cover just about any kind of changes or, or or different things you need on the the whole reporting system anything over that's thirty dollars an hour uh, which is very fair okay so you can see if I change this to You see our top line here, revenue one is growing at 10% a month. If I change this to say 50%, you see the projection changes and look at how that's growing. Now you get to a a crazy number because uh, compounding like that's, you know, goes big. So let's put this back down to say uh, 0 0.25 uh, and you can see now we get back to normal numbers. Only gets to a dollar twenty four from a dollar in three years. So all I have on the projection right now is really simple and basic because I know it's gonna change for every business. So we just have simply revenue up here, cost of goods sold, and gross profit. And then we have all kinds of expenses up to ten. I could add as many as you want, a hundred, a thousand, doesn't matter. We had all our expenses projected out um, total and then net income just taking the gross profit less expenses so all the math is pretty easy it's just I've, I've laid it out in a nice way here going out month to month so this is kind of your projection page so you put in here usually it will be driven off the inputs and we can have inputs for expenses inputs for all kinds of different revenue streams all kinds of different stuff we could do to project out based on your business model so we have that there um, then we have our actual, which simply is the same exact thing as the projection. Everything's in the same cell. However, the actual, you simp you just put in the numbers based on what you actually do. And then based on that, you get a variance per month, per line item. So you can see here this has, and if it's uh, a good variance, if you've, your actual is greater, well, actually, uh, for expenses, you would want it to be negative and actually let me adjust that right now so expenses we want pretty much the opposite thing so let me manage these rules so this is actually going to be greater than and then if it's less than here on this one that makes more sense because you want your expenses to be less that's a good thing so you can see if it's a greater that means you're losing money more money and then here net income obviously that's green if it's greater red if it's well that should be hopefully I didn't just change everything in the whole hold on yeah, it looks like it did. Let me manage rules in current selection, not the whole worksheet. So if it's greater than zero, it'll be green. Edit rule. So if it's less than, we want it to be red. If it's greater than zero, we want it to be green. Oh man. Okay, I have to individually do it. Stand by, let me fix this one second. 
Okay, there we go. So now you can see it's conditional formatted. So revenue, if it's <clears throat> if your variance is positive, that means your revenue was greater than your projection, which is good. So that's green. Uh, you can see here if it's less, then it's a red. Um, opposite for this, so if your cost of goods sold is greater than you thought, then it's going to be red. Let's see, is it greater on all of them? It looks like yes, it is. But let's say. Well, it looks like this one. I don't know. I'm red and green colorblind, so it's kind of hard for me to see. Let me just do... So let's put an actual cost of goods sold of... Let's just say $1 here. See if it turns green. What is that for? For March, what's the projection for March of... Oh, it's 50 cents. So let's put in 0 0.25, so that should be 50%. Yep, there we go. So it's 50% less. That means it's a good thing because it's a, a cost that's down, so the green. Gross profit. You can see this is good. Green, if it's positive, that means you made more than you thought. All our expenses are red if they're positive. Green if they're negative. Perfect. Net income, same thing. If it's... <clears throat> red that means you didn't make as much as you projected <clears throat> green you made more so we have that and it's kind of it's a really nice way to just stay organized because budget actual versus budgets can get very ugly quickly so here you know we got a nice input projection sheet and then we we based off of all that we put in actuals for what the actual numbers turn up to be our months equal our input date this doesn't need to be blue. We don't want to indicate that changes. So you can see our input date. Let's change it to 2018. Now that should change. Yep, 18. Oop. This equals the input. There we go. Variance, same thing, because I paste these over, equals that. There. So now the month will always be the same as the projection actual variance have the same months there's a whole bunch of stuff we could do with this but the key is getting it into the right structure first so that's what this template has done I think it's done a really good job at at that so now that we have everything organized we can look at an analysis and here you can go month by month and see if the variance was positive or negative and we've tracking like we got total revenue gross profit total expenses net income so our net income was down for through 2019 then you can see in 2000 and in 2019 our net income actually starts to outpace what we projected so that's a good thing uh, you can see revenue also is outpacing gross profit it's hard to see but that is as well and then expenses are starting to decline from what we expected so that you know obviously causes you to have more net income now you can just have let's say we just want to look at net income only just uncheck those and here's your net income variance on a month-to-month -month basis or we could look at um, expenses and revenue so there's our total revenue variance to total expense variance on actual projection to actual This is something I have been meaning to build for a while. I'm really happy with it. There's a lot of ways and places that it can go. Um, if you want the template, I'll send it to you via email. Just check out the link below the YouTube video. I'm going to start the pricing out at... Well, usually I just go for how many hours it takes. I mean, this took me about two hours, so I'm going to start the pricing at $59.99. And if you want to purchase it, you can go through the website and do so. I accept all cards. Um, and then, like I said, any work beyond this, I'll go. I'll give you up to three hours for free. And then any work beyond that, um, 
it will cost you just thirty dollars an hour to get it to how you need it for your own uh, specific business all right have a great day